Hello, this is Patrick Botticelli with Colonial Airstream in Lakewood, New Jersey. Today I would like to go over the 2015 Airstream Flying Cloud 25 FB. FB stands for Front Bedroom. This particular Airstream is equipped with the front twin bed option. Of the Airstreams manufactured, the Flying Cloud series is our most popular. Over half of the Airstreams built are Flying Clouds. Of the Flying Clouds, the 25 is the most popular size. Half the 25 we get with twins and half with queen. So we do sell about a 50-50 split of twins versus queen. Some of the additional benefits you get of a twin bed model is additional storage. The beds are wider for each person and the beds also longer and we'll see that when we go inside. The exterior storage is enhanced because you get a total of three lockable, insulated, weather sealed, diamond plated, with a light inside compartments. So a total of three. Very, very heavy duty hardware. Squeezes the door tight and uh, nice and nice and tight. Flying cloud medallion. This is aluminum. Extruded aluminum window frames. This is called a stacked window. There's an 18 inch top window that opens out all the way and a porthole window on the bottom. A little detail here. We have extruded aluminum belt line protection. That seals the center seam where the two seams overlap and are riveted. Protects that area. We also have an Atwood XT series water heater with aluminum tank. It's a six gallon reservoir, but because it has a mixer valve, it preheats the water before it brings it into the tank and then superheats it to give you nine gallons continuous flow. We have a drain plug, pressure relief valve, and the exhaust up top. All the Airstream travel trailers built today have a completely enclosed, insulated, and sealed underbelly. It's wrapped up in aluminum. There's bubble wrap foil insulation underneath the plywood floor. The tank is dropped into an insulated chamber. It's also heated with force head air. It's a force head air propane furnace on board, which heats that tank chamber. And outside, a GFCI protected electrical outlet. This is a double axle trailer. They are 225-75 R 15 inch Goodyear Marathon tires. They're load range D. There's 12 inch electric drum brakes, one on each wheel. They have the never just braking system, so they are self-adjusting. It's a rubber torsion axle by Dexter. And these have the uh, 25 foot and up have the never lube hub assembly. There's a shock on each wheel. We have a cooktop ventilation system. When you turn the fan on, this will open up exhaust the cooktop area. It's also an LED porch light. The awning is made by Zip D. It's umbrella material on a slate gray. It's wrapped in aluminum to protect it. If you pull into a campground and scuff a tree branch, you're not going to tear your awning open. There's a heavy duty wheel lock and this is all aluminum structure for the awning. It's going to last a very, very long time. Just the other day, one of my customers came with their 1970s Airstream, original awning, original material, and it still looked fabulous. There's a bifold entry step. The door is, is an engineering marvel here. This is some great quality work. It's about eight man hours in each entry door to manufacture. The screen door is detachable from the main door. See all the TIG welds here, screen door guards. 
the hinges, heavy duty hinges. There's an entry door lock. There's also a deadbolt lock. This little clip here, when you swing the door all the way around, will lock it in place so it doesn't move around. Now listen to this slam. Wow. That's one tight door. Typically an Airstream door is a couple inches wider than uh, another brand box style trailer. This door frame is all extruded aluminum. It's welded up top. It has an extruded aluminum gutter rail over the top. Down on the bottom is an aluminum threshold. So you can sweep debris out. There's grip tape here so you don't slip. You have LED running lights. LED step light. We have stabilizer jacks. All four corners of the trailer. A tool comes with it to crank them down. Or you could use your cordless drill or impact with a three-quarter inch socket. Slip it on, press the drill, and zip them down. They're not leveling jacks, they're stabilizer jacks. They're just designed to take the bounce out of your walk when you're parked at the campground. Cast aluminum taillight bezels. Very, very nice detail. LED taillights, chrome trim ring, rear bumper lid. It's powder coated. Lifts up to get the storage in the back bumper. It's diamond plated, has holes drilled into it. If you want to store blocks of wood, wheel chocks, power cord, anything that would touch the ground at the campground that might be dirty that you don't want to throw in one of your trunks, great place to put it. This back bumper here is polished aluminum. It's a beautiful back bumper. The 25 front bedroom features front and rear panoramic windows. So you can imagine picking that beautiful lakefront or mountainside campground that has the gorgeous view in the back. You could back this trailer right in, sit at your dining table, and get and take advantage of that view. One of the biggest attractions to one of the 25 front bedroom models. Also the size, very safe for most state and national parks in regards to regulations on size. General rule of thumb, 27 and down, 28 and down. 25 fits way within that ballpark. Obviously, it's gonna change, vary depending on where you go. A lot of places might also allow you to bring larger units in, but it seems to be the magic size that people are attracted to. Two big 30 inch wide windows that open all the way, up, all the way out. Extruded aluminum gutter rail over the top. All buck riveted. So there's a guy on the outside of the trailer at the factory, one on the inside and they'll go one by one rivet, bucking each one. It's a two person job, but it's very, very secure. We have the furnace, it's a force head air propane furnace system that runs on 12 volt to spin the blower, but the fuel is propane. Underneath the trailer, we have a jack location that points to this metal plate. So if you do get a flat tire, you wanna put your jack here. They indicate the safe spot. Sometimes on a double axle trailer, on an Airstream that has torsion axles, you could put two blocks of wood, about three inches high, back the back axle up over the wood, and our front axle will come right off the ground. We have a refrigerator ventilation system. There's a little drip tube here for condensation. 
There's a vent on the roof for the refrigerator. We have a 39 gallon potable water tank with a drain between the axles. There's also low point drains under the trailer for winterization of your hot and cold water lines. We also have a city water connection that supplies water to your faucets on demand. This also has a water pressure regular built right into it to protect your trailer from high pressures at the campground. Most other manufacturers don't include this. It is an accessory you would have to buy and you would have to put it on each and every time. This is a sore flusher. It's very important not to get the two confused. It's labeled and tells you exactly what to do but after you empty your gray and black tanks you could reopen the black tank hook up a garden hose to this connection under pressure will spray the residual waste out of the tank keeps it very very clean your dump station has a, a light that illuminates this area we have the discharge tube there's a remote wastegate system, so none of the mechanicals are exposed outside the heated tank. So you only have the discharge tube and you have your wastegate extension. So you're always going to pull the black tank first. Any toilet waste will now come and discharge through the waste hose, which you have snapped on and secured properly into the campgrounds connection. After that's done, you'd close it, put the tethers on it, and you'd open up your gray tank, which is your sink and shower waste. That will help clean out the waste tube. And then if you wanted to use the black tank flush, you reopen the black tank and turn that on. When you're done with the waste hose, it has its own storage tube. Goes all the way in. This is about five foot deep. There's an outside utility shower with hot and cold water, a wand. We have another trunk. Now this is only part of the twin bed front bedroom. This is not available when you get to queen bed. So I have the power cord stored in here. There's this power cord on this end here. When you go to the campground and plug into the receptacle, you plug it in here, twist, and there's a collar that will lock it in place and keep it weather tight. Below that, we have your cable and satellite connection. This is the VIN plate, the VIN number, the travel trailer that it is, tire information, tire pressure, which is 65 PSI on this model. Heavy duty stainless steel wrap protectors on a hinge. Why do we have a hinge? Well, you see the gap here? That is purposely left there to allow some deflection for any debris you hit in the road. So it won't dent your soft aluminum body. But now that it's gapped, you can get a beehive behind there, leaves, pine needles. If you take this nut, this one, and this one off, this will swing out and you can clean behind it. This is a second power cord connection, and this is what we call generator prep remote. And all it is is a second place you could hook in your power cord. So if you had a generator in the bed of your pickup truck, you could easily plug it from here to here without having to reach all the way down to the back of the trailer. So it's just another place you could plug your power cord into. This is your front trunk compartment, which is also not available if this is a queen bed model. This goes really, really wide. There's a light inside of it lockable
There's a propane quick disconnect port. They could snap in the hose that's included with the trailer, hook up a low pressure barbecue grill, turn it on and off with the gas valve on the top. Standard Bargman seven way connection. There's six spades, one round pin. Hooks up to most vehicles built today with the factory tow package. Has a battery box with two Interstate Group 24 series deep cycle batteries in parallel. So they're 12 volt batteries. Colonial Airstream gives you a lockable lid so no one can lift this and steal your batteries. There's a three piece solar stone guard up front that protects the tempered tinted safety glass that's behind it from shattering when you're towing. If you pull the tethers on either side, This will lift, spin the little neural knob and lock in place, and then you can lift your window up three different heights. Just don't forget to put the tethers back on before you tow. That could be disastrous. We have two 30 pound steel propane tanks with a regulator. You can switch left to right bottle. This is a wing nut that comes off this threaded rod to lift the bottle cover off so you can fill your propane tanks. We have a spare tire underneath the A-frame. It's the same size tire and rim. It's just a steel wheel versus aluminum. You pull this out, slide the pin across, swing this down, the arm will drop down. And then you take your electric hitch jack, raise the trailer up high enough so you can get it out. Hitch jack also has a light to illuminate this area at night. And it also has a manual override just in case of hitch jack failure. There's a tool that slides on top of this nut here to raise and lower the height of the trailer. And then you could also, once you get the trailer level for the first time, you can calibrate this top by tightening these screws to keep the bubble in the middle. So the trailer's level already, now you're going to calibrate this so the bubble's in the middle and from that point forward you should be level from uh, every time you get it set. This is a 30 amp slow blow fuse for the electric hitch jack. There's a lock that will go onto this coupler which slides forward and lifts up to prevent theft. We have 11,000 pound safety chains for your vehicle. Powder coated box frame. There's a VIN plate. absolutely gorgeous trailer. We sell so many of the 25 front bedroom flying clouds. It's unbelievable. So let's take a break. We'll go inside and I'll give you a tour of some of the features inside this trailer. Very spacious. This trail is equipped with the Golden Knight interior decor. This gives you the darker countertops, these decor pillows, and the darker bedspread. And then you have your choice between different color fabrics. 99% of our customers now are choosing the ultra leather. This is the cashew. There's also a black available. Ultra leather is the choice in cushion covering material or in the industry. Our customers love it. Anybody that owned an RV product before that had ultra leather, they can't believe how strong and durable it is and how easy it is to clean. So we do definitely recommend that as well. So up front in this trailer, you can see how it's equipped with the twin beds. A lot of people might overlook the twin bed option, but once you get inside, it's easy to see 
How much room you have here? It's not just a bedroom anymore. You could use this as a lounge. Very easy to get dressed. Look at all that floor space. And you get three exterior trunks versus one. You get the same shirt locker you would on a queen, but instead of having a few drawers below, the mattress extends. They do give you a nightstand drawer. It was a very generous size. The beds are actually longer too. The queen bed is 60 by 75. These are 78 inches long. And the mattresses Airstream uses, unbelievable. Years ago, people used to buy an RV and, and throw a new mattress out and get an upgraded mattress. We don't hear that anymore. This is a pillow top memory foam residential style mattress. Standard. This is an overhead roof locker. With plenty of storage. The mechanism allows lift assist and also allows tension to keep the door shut. There's a directional reading light on either side of the bed. There's a speaker on either side of the bed. There's a USB charge port at the head of the bed as well as a regular electrical outlet. The Ocean Air Roller Shades became standard for 2015. Previous model years we had aluminum blinds. This is a 30 inch wide window but this window also doubles as an emergency exit. So you pull the two red handles, twist, lift the window up, it'll snap in three different height grooves and if you, in case of emergency, you pull this and unravel your screen and you climb out of the trailer. So bedroom LED television. TV plugs into a regular electrical outlet. But on this trailer, we opted to get the inverter option, which gives you 1,000 watts of electricity for this outlet. So all you do is turn the inverter on when you're not plugged into electricity plug it into this outlet and you'll be able to watch this television off your battery system. But it's not only this outlet you get when you get the inverter option. Well, there's another outlet under the dinette. One next to the Blu-ray player. And then there's also one next to your galley television. Also in the bedroom, we have a ceiling light switch, which is dimmable. And this trailer has the new QuietStream HVAC system. So there's duct work throughout to evenly distribute the air conditioning through the trailer. And one main return in the middle. It's a 15,000 BTU air conditioning system with an electric heat pump. You could control the systems using the comfort control center. You could change the mode between fan speed on the air conditioning, okay, so that would be your fan speed, low, medium, or high. It also controls the fan speed on the heat pump. You could change the mode from fan only, you could just have the air conditioning fan on. You could change the mode to furnace, which is your forced hot air propane furnace with duct work throughout air conditioning or heat pump. This is a single zone trailer so we don't use this button on this trailer. You could set a clock, you could set a program, and then you could change your temperature set point up and down. You could also see what your inside temperature is, 73 degrees, and change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. On the twin bed floor plan they also give you an extra cabinet on this side of the bed that would not work if it was a queen bed because the queen bed would be here you'd have to be able to walk around it uh, it wouldn't work you'd have to duck underneath so you do get this overhead roof locker on the twin bed model 
underneath the beds, there's storage. Plenty of it. On an Airstream trailer, all the cabinetry today is using plywood with laminate. On another brand RV product, it might look like wood, it might look like laminate, but it's, it might be particle board or MDF with a vinyl sticker on it, but not on Airstream. Twin bed also gives you some plastic bins to help organize your items. Premium hardware. It's attachable and adjustable. And this box in the front is your uh, front trunk compartment that we saw from outside. There's a CO2 detector in the bedroom. There's a privacy curtain that'll separate the bath area from the rest of the trailer. If you're taking a shower, you don't have to close the front curtains for privacy. You just close this one privacy curtain. In the bathroom, bright white laminate on the inside. Makes it feel wide open. We got a china toilet bowl. Nice size, furnace duct, storage below the sink, sliding storage next to the toilet, toilet paper holder up top, your main reset, uh, GFCI reset for the trailer. Look at the countertop, the way they do it. This is a laminate countertop, but instead of caulking it around, which is the easy way to do it, they use an extruded aluminum rail here which allows the countertop to expand and contract without showing a gap. Extra details there. That's Airstream. A little towel bar. Storage above the sink area. Storage here. This little towel ring. You have your light switch. If it's too bright, you could shut one off, both. You have a bathroom fan. There's a round vent line fan. Push up, push the button, allows the exhaust outside. The water heater controls are in here for the electric or gas. And the red light in the middle will illuminate if the water heater misfires on gas. So you might be out of propane, you might have an air bubble. Something caused the water heater not to ignite, that's why the red light would be on. So you'd have to check that. Deep, thick, High, heavy duty stainless steel sink. My own faucet is all metal, not plastic, so it's gonna last a really long time. There's also air conditioning ducts in the bathroom and a little gap on the top. So if you're using the fan, it allows proper air flow, air flow through the exhaust stale air. Glass shower door. Satin nickel hardware. This is all fiberglass, two inch overlap, caulked. It's a drain plug for the bottom. Heavy duty fixtures. The wand hangs up. It's detachable, pausable. So once you have your temperature set, if you want to conserve water, you can pause it up here, turn it back on when you're ready to rinse off. There's a LED light. Switchable from the outside. There's also a clothesline that hooks in. Once you get it hooked, you tighten it down. You can hang a towel, bathing suit, keep it in this compartment. Shower door has a magnetic strip that keeps it shut. And this is a safety lock. In the wardrobe, we have storage above. Storage below with light. We have a wardrobe rod. Access panel for shower faucet. And below, another little compartment that allows you to get to the uh, water pump for winterization. These are the things that Airstream does that make it a little bit easier for a technician or an owner to service their trailer. There's all hardware here, easy to get to. 
You don't have to get a screwdriver out. You don't have to disassemble the whole floor of the wardrobe or move everything out of the wardrobe. It's all done from right underneath. Thank you, Airstream. In the galley, very spacious. Just wide open. Lots of room if you have a pet. You're not tripping over that pet all day long because there's plenty of floor space. It's another privacy curtain on a track. So you can still get out of the shower, open the wardrobe, and get dressed and still have privacy here. There's a seven cubic foot automatic two-way refrigerator by Dometic. Runs on gas or electric. You turn it on. If it's on automatic mode, you'll see a little dot under auto. It's automatically going to check to see if we're plugged in or not. So it's going to try to run on propane. If it misfires, you would see, instead of the temperature, you would actually see the letters LP flash. You can manually override it, so it just runs on propane. And you can change your temperature, one through five. Five being the coolest. Adjustable shelves. The light will come on when the fridge is turned on. You have adjustable shelves here. There's a little wire that keeps items. You can slide these back and forth. It keeps them from falling out when you open the door. You have a drip pan. They leave this cut out. So you can put a tall item in. Little drawers down below. And adjustable shelves here. Airstream gives you a little bit of storage above the fridge. Other manufacturers would seal this off because it costs money to build a door and the hardware. Airstream feels that it's very important to give you that space for storage above and below. And I've seen what my customers put into these areas and they greatly appreciate that little bit of extra storage. It's a slide out pantry with adjustable wire shelves. There's four of them total. There's storage down below and above. And these are heavy duty J latches. You need at least five pounds of pressure to open it. So you can be sure that's not gonna open when you're towing. There's two overhead roof lockers over the galley. There's a light over the cooktop. A fan that exhausts outside. Heavy duty metal grates. Three burner. Spark ignition for each cover. It's a lift up and unlocks, swings down, gives you extra counter space surface. All full extension drawer glides. There's a silverware organizer. There's a propane leak detector. Another storage compartment here. So has your sea level 2 tank monitoring system, allows you to turn your uh, water pump on from here if you're not hooked into city water connection and you want to use water from your fresh water tank and give you pressure to each one of your faucets, you'd have that on. What it would do it would pressurize the water system, it would shut off, and every time you turn the faucet on, you'd feel a drop in pressure and give you water pressure. You'd monitor your battery juice from here, your fresh water tank level and percentage, gray waste tank which is your sink and shower waste and the black waste tank which is your toilet waste. There's a GFCI protected electrical outlet here and this is where you would turn on the inverter system. Turn it on you'd hear a beep on this model it's the head of the roadside twin bed underneath. In 10 to 30 seconds you'd have electricity to the designated inverter outlets I pointed out before. There's a light over the sink area now another ocean air roller shade, good amount of counter space, sink cover. That is a thick gauge stainless steel sink with a membrane on it to help keep the noise level down. And this is a very high quality metal mowing faucet with separate sprayer. Below the sink, there's a trash pail. 
We have access to install the included water filtration system that comes in this trailer. Right now it's bypass mode. There's a fire extinguisher, magazine rack, an electrical outlet, and then we have the battery disconnect switch. This is for long-term storage. Right now it's on, but I could shut it off. And we could turn on and off the battery system right from here. I'd always recommend turning it on before you plug the vehicle into your truck or before you plug it into electricity so the battery charges. You have your step light and porch light and then your ceiling lights which are dimmable on this trailer. 28 inch LED Samsung television. Vista view windows with shades. Smoke detector. Skylight in the galley with shade. Has a thermal brake, so it has an interior and exterior skin to it. There's a fantastic fan that has a uh, thermostatically controlled fan blade. A rain sensor that shuts the lid down when it rains. And a variable speed control for your fan blade. You could also have the lid open, motorized, but shut the fan off completely and it will still shut when it rains. And you have your open lid button here. It opens and closes the lid on the Fantastic Fan. And there's a four amp fuse, protects it, and this is a detachable screen so you can clean the fan blades and clean the screen off without having to get a screwdriver or any tools out. There's also storage below the lounge. This little cutout here is for your furnace return. Another storage compartment under this lounge. There's a subwoofer underneath the dinette booth. Very deep drawer underneath this dinette booth. Directional reading lights. Curtains on aluminum rail. AM FM stereo with Pandora available. USB charge ports, Blu-ray player which also plays DVDs and CDs, plenty of storage up here. It's very quiet in here too. A lot of the road noise is now at a minimum with that entry door shut. Also the new QuietStream air conditioning is extremely quiet and works very, very efficiently. So now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the camera and I'm gonna show you how to fold down the dinette bed or lounge as well as the 66 inch side lounge. Okay, to set this area up into a bed, what I'll first do is I'm gonna remove some of these decor pillows. The side bolsters are snapped into the wall, so just give them a pull. Store that right here. This bottom piece you're going to lift up, lean up against the wall. Another bolster on this side, snapped in, slide that out of your way. Lift up this bottom cushion, it's velcroed in place. Now you're free to land a table on top of these two benches, and how do we do that? We can lift the table up. There's two little cleats that it slides into. The bottom wire is the hinge system. What we're going to do is release the leg. Lock it up. Swing the table down. Lays on top of the benches and there's a rubber grommet on either side to prevent it from sliding side by side. So now that that's, at, that's down, we can fold the bottom cushions down. Remove the backrest from the bolster. And that is a very large bed. This bed is about eight foot long. So I can stretch completely out. I have plenty of room. And you could definitely sleep two adults here. Okay, now what you could also do is you can make that into a deep lounge by taking the backrest off 
the side lounge leaning up against the back wall. Grab the side bolster here and here. And now you have a lounge big enough so you can sit and watch the television. You have a straight view. Curl up in the corner here with some extra pillows. Makes a very, very comfortable seating area. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this back and then I'm going to show you how the side lounge works. And there's three different widths that you could use for that lounge depending on how you're using the trailer. All right. This slide lounge becomes a bed. There's several different ways you could go about setting this up. So let's first move some of your decor pillows out of the way. So a little bolster off the side. We'll just take that out. We're not going to use that. And you can take the backrest, unsnap it from the wall. When you move it out of the way, this bed is large enough for an average adult or child to sleep on without extending. But now, if you wanted to sleep additional people, this bottom drawer slides out. And you lift up the bottom cushions, slide them out with, and the very, very back part of the bolster separates. So we can lay that down, and we can make this into a bed that's good enough for two adults or two children, but we still have plenty of room to walk through. For larger people, if you extend this out a little bit further, the cushions will actually hang over the edge slightly. You put in a larger piece here. Now you have a larger bed and you could still get through, but it is a little bit tighter. This is Patrick Botticelli. I really, really hope you enjoyed my video. I went through many of the features of the Airstream Travel Trailer, but there's so much more we want to share with you during a formal in in orientation when you come to pick up the trailer. Our number here is 1-800-265-9019, and our website is www.colonialairstream.com. We sure would love you to like our video, comment, subscribe to our channel, we really would love it, and thank you again. I hope to hear from you soon.